Good morning. morning. It's great to see all of you. Um, It really gives me uh, great joy and pleasure to introduce to you uh, Rachel Haw, um, who I've just come to know in the last uh, maybe six months or so since she's been coming here. And yeah, I'm just excited about the story. She's going to tell you about her salvation in coming to know Jesus. So why don't you just uh, welcome Rachel as she comes. Hi, everyone. Um, My name is Rachel, and I'm 22 years old. I moved to Canada from Korea when I was 10 years old, and I've been living in Canada ever since. Um, I didn't grow up in a believing home. And, but luckily, I've been going to church um, through different friends um, ever since I was in elementary school. But in all those years that I've been going to church, um, I had been going to church, you know, singing of God's love and mercy and serving the church in different functions. Um, I never thought, I never once thought that I was a sinner. I had the knowledge of the tr- Holy Trinity and, you know, all the doctrines. So I did get baptized when I was 16. Um, But looking back, I don't think I ever recognized the authority of God in my life and the necessity of Christ for my salvation. Um, I continued to go to church when I moved to um, Ontario for university. Um, I'm originally from BC. Um, And in my second year of university, uh, I met a boy from church and... um, we started dating. Um, And in that relationship, I did a lot of things that I knew wasn't honoring to God. You know, I I had read the parts of Scripture where um, in 1 Thessalonians 4 and Matthew chapter 5, when the Bible clearly instructs how um, one is supposed to conduct themselves in relationships, you know, in their actions and in their thoughts. Um, but, you know, in my sinful nature, I found ways to justify myself, and I called God's laws archaic, you know, conservative, and that I don't really have to follow them in today's very liberalized society. Um, I still went to church. Um, I still prayed every night, and I read God's word, but I think that's the scary part. I, and in my prayer... I knew at the deep down in my heart that God was convicting me of my sins and told me to repent, but I never did because I didn't think that um, I needed to. I continued to do what I wanted to do in that relationship. So, um, you know, that relationship ended a couple of months later and I wasn't so sad about it ending, but for some reason, I felt a deep remorse in my heart, and a sense of guilt. And I remember just one night praying and earnestly asking God what I had done wrong. I thought I was doing everything. You know, I thought I was, um, I was reading the Bible every night. I was praying. I, I just don't know. I just didn't know what I had done wrong. And it was at that moment that God brought back all the memories of all the sins and immoral thoughts that I had done in that relationship and everything else that I had done in my life. And, you know, for the first time, I felt so ashamed and defeated. It was then that God showed me that I am a, I am a sinner. I just really wanted to hide, knowing that um, I had sinned against God Almighty, who knows everything. He had known even when I thought um, I was just ignoring um, everything. He knew, he really did. And I just broke down and um, started crying. But you know, in those moments of tears, um, I recalled his promise in 1 John 1, 9, um, where it says that, if we truly confess our sins, um, he will forgive us and make us clean. And that's what I needed to hold on to. That's when it hit me that um, 
I want to be and I need to be reconciled with God. And if um, I want that, I, I need to repent and follow Christ because Christ is the only forgiver of sins. He, he can, his blood can only redeem. So I confessed my sins for hours and asking God to forgive me and just transform my stubborn heart into one that only desires him and his will. Um, you know, that was three years ago, and I'm still a young Christian. I am. Um, I'm still growing in faith. Um, I still stumble a lot in my life. But um, God continues to show me the areas of my life that needs repentance, where I need discipline. And he's been so faithful. And that's why I'm getting baptized today. I want to obey his will. And, you know, this is my second baptism, but I'm so thankful for all he's done in my life, for all his mercies, and, and I'm really excited for what he has um, for the future. I'm really excited to just follow his will. Um, so it's just such an awesome story to hear Rachel's journey with Christ and uh, you know uh, just turn this <laughs> so um, because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior and your Lord um, and in obedience to God's word I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen.